Well, go figure that one. Science has made a new discovery. Yes, it did. It just discovered this. They posted the results yesterday. Um, about bismuth. Now, I've got a large section in my free book, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. This is a crystal, one of the many crystals I grew. Bismuth crystals. This is also another bismuth ball. Pure elemental bismuth that I actually cast myself, molten bismuth. Experimentation with magnetism. I grew up actually playing with superconductor kits, yttrium, barium, copper oxide. I even had my own liquid nitrogen doer flasks. Mad scientist at an early age. Science, get this, you will love this fucking shit. It is unbelievable. Totally vindicates every goddamn thing I've been saying about magnetism and supposed superconductivity, of which is a completely inaccurate term. There's no such thing as superconductivity. All that which is called superconductivity, and I've been experimenting with superconductor kits for many, well, decade and a half now like yttrium, barium, copper oxide, it is extremely low magnetic permeability. Here we go, look at this, major discovery of elemental bismuth. Turns out it is a superconductor. Wow. But the amazing thing is, is that, let me quote them here, bismuth, one of the weirdest looking elements in the periodic table, blah, blah, blah. According to the current theory of superconductivity, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm quoting here now, because for 40 years now, scientists have assumed that superconductive materials must be abundant of free-flowing electrons, but in bismuth, blah, 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 blah. You know, see, I have made like 100 videos stating this one simple fact. Every time throughout history, science has always thought that their shit was accurate, was right, was true. It's like, this is the way it is, this is the way the universe works, this is how cosmic began work. And like 20, 30 years later, it turns out that science at that time goes, yeah, those guys, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, yeah, they're just full of shit, everything they believed was wrong. That's happened over and over and over and over again. Everything I said about bismuth and about supposed superconductivity has just been valid. See, these people are saying, this theory, this, uh, this major discovery of bismuth, uh, bismuth crystals, by the way, pure bismuth crystals, not compounds, okay, just pure bismuth, mm, doesn't make a whole lot of sense according to the current theory of superconductivity. But you know what it does make perfect, absolutely perfect sense is everything that I've said about superconductivity. There's no such thing as superconductivity. It, what superconductivity actually is, is insanely low magnetic permeability. Because the entire universe works off of these four things. First and foremost, it works off force of motion, inertia, and acceleration. The four other things the entire goddamn universe works off of is capacitance, resistance, Magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity. Capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. Basically, a superconductor is kind of like a bulletproof trampoline for the transverse uh, bisection of magnetic fields. In other words, what we think we, what we call uh, um, superconductors is nothing other than a gigantic uh, Fort Knox vault door to the penetration of magnet. To put it in layman's terms, right? That's not superconductivity. That is extremely low magnetic permeability. That's the way the universe works. All force in motion, heat, of course, the motion of, elect, uh, of uh, atomic uh, structures and molecular structures like uh, ceramic uh, superconductors like yttrium, barium, copper oxide, which is a ceramic disk. When you cool it down to the temperature of liquid nitrogen, a... Um, a uh, ferrite or uh, samarium cobalt or neodymium iron boron will sit there and levitate over top of that disk and people say, oh, well, that's superconductivity. <sighs> Everything, and this is their own words, by their own admission here, and I'll put the link below, by their own admission, everything that they thought was true about superconductivity was bullshit. Because it turns out that elemental crystalline bismuth is a superconductor to use their word. But that completely flies in the face of everything that they understood superconductivity to be. But what it doesn't fly in the face of is everything 100% that I have said 
about the way the universe works, about magnetism, about capacitance, about resistance, about permeability, about permittivity. Every fucking thing. This is the new discovery. Hey, shit, guess what? Science just discovered this shit becomes superconducting at a really low Kelvin temperature. But that shit doesn't make sense according to current science's comprehension of how the hell superconductivity works. However, what it does do is it validates me 100% in every goddamn thing I've said about what the hell superconductivity is. What superconductivity is, which is a completely inaccurate term, is insanely low or incredibly low magnetic permeability. Mother Nature is vindicated. Mother Nature is not a crazy hooker on cross-eyed hooker on crack. Everything works off of force and motion, inertia and acceleration, capacitance, resistance, permeability, and dielectric permittivity. I'm vindicated. But science, however, and by science I mean a bunch of assholes that follow each other and kiss each other's butts and agree with each other's papers and follow each other and do peer-reviewed, uh, do you agree with my paper? I agree with your paper. Do you agree with my... Yes, I will approve and uh, write a good review of your article if you'll do the same for mine. That is what peer-reviewed means, by the way. Science is far less about truth-seeking than it is about uh, consensus. Let's have a consensus. Uh, the only problem with science is, is that 99.99999% of them are atomistic assholes, idiots, and relativists. Quantum. Do you know what quantum means? Quantum means quantity. Quantity means atomism. In other words, existential. In other words, according to quantum and according to these sort of people and their mind, the modus operandi of how their mind works is that the entire universe is a huge bag of uh, particles bumping into each other. One particle bumps into another, and a magical particle bumps into Yeah, Fields are not particles, and the entire universe is fields, okay? Everything is a goddamn field. But fields are not particles. Do you realize how important that goddamn fact is? How important that is against every branch of modern field theory and um, cosmic mechanics. Do you realize how important that statement is? Everything is a goddamn field. But fields are not particles. But 99.999% of scientists like these idiots who now are completely confounded, they are atomists. Okay, They believe that everything is a particle. Even in their own books, and you'll find an excerpt from it even on Wikipedia, they even think that a magnetic field is a virtual photon, or they'll actually call it a virtual particle. A virtual particle? You are more likely to run into a unicorn, a leprechaun, or a mermaid than to run into a virtual particle. Completely arbitrary, fanciful uh, creation from the minds of these uh, mental midgets, these knuckle-dragging pseudo-intellectual morons with PhDs and degrees. You know, wisdom is one thing, and these people don't have it. So... Amazing new discovery, completely vindicates me, but it has stumped the morons. And by morons, I mean all those people that have cred, all those people with PhDs and degrees that are working in the university, that are teaching college students the bullshit that they were taught before them and the bullshit that was taught before. This is what you should teach because this is the way things are. And then they teach that same shit to someone. And then a major discovery comes along like this and they have to rethink. It's like, well, shit, this doesn't make sense. Everything we thought we understood about uh, superconductivity, which doesn't exist, it's low magnetic permeability, we're going to have to rethink that because this completely flies in the face of everything we've been teaching including thousands of books, by the way. Thousands of books on superconductivity exist. I've, I've got at least a thousand myself, most of which are in PDF format. So there you go. A major discovery, that, a major discovery about elemental crystalline business that vindicates me and everything I've written about magnetism and cosmic mechanics, and yet which completely confounds these assholes. By their own admission, it confounds them because it flies in the face of their own goddamn theory of superconductivity.